Salutations to you viewers. Welcome to this production brought to you courtesy of Farmer Media Productions. My name is Chico Squared. And in this lecture, we're going to look at vector geometry. And we are going to be focusing on ZIMSEC questions. And this is ZIMSEC June 2019 question 12 on vector geometry. Right. On the board, we have the following diagrammatic illustration. Right. We are given that in the diagram, vector OA is going to be, is equal to P, AB is equal to Q, and the M is the midpoint of AB. OB is produced to C such that OB is equal to BC. So as you can see from these two lines, means that OB is equal to BC, right? And here goes the first question now. Express the following in terms of P and or Q. Right, item one, we want to look for vector OC. Right, so vector OC is our first question. Right, so as you can see on the board, for us to go to vector OC, we've got an alternative of saying we start with the vector OA plus a, B plus B, C. So this is going to be equal to vector O, A in the end, the P, plus vector A, B in the end, the Q, then the plus vector B, C. Right, B, C, value of B, C at Tina, but Jato says, this is the result, B, C, na OB, of which OB in the end, the P plus Q. So BC, likewise, the P plus Q for the boss against an OB. So it's the P plus Q plus P plus Q. And then grouping of like terms, no, 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 2P plus 2Q. So Vector OC, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be equal to 2P plus 2Q. Next question. Vector OM, item 2. Right. Saka, is what is that vector OM? Vector OM is going to be equal to vector OA plus AM. And it? So, this OA plus AM, right? OA, where do you The P plus AM. Remember, question here, M is the midpoint of AB, so which means AM is going to be the half of AB, all right? So plus a half of what? AB. So we need to simplify Put in a year half yan. Was A B where do Dian the Q and it? So this is P plus half Q. So vector O M is going to be equal to P plus half Q and it? Right. Next question here do you have to calculate vector A C. Right. Vector A C. From A to C, we are saying it's A, B, this one, plus B, C. All right? And vector A, B, Indian, Q, plus vector B, C. Remember, vector B, C, again, is an O, B. And it, remember, chirpan up. B, C, tambum chagat, katat, again, is an O, B, of which B, C, Indian, P plus Q. So what we are going to do is that this is going to be equal to Q plus P plus Q. And then by grouping of like terms, as you can see, right, we've got two Qs here. And then one P. So this is going to be equal to P plus 2Q. So this is vector AC, which is equal to P plus 2Q. And then this is a done deal on this particular question. Let's move on to the next questions uh, that we have. Then the next question goes like, OM is produced to a point T. 
OM oil. And he, he is produced to a point T. So I'm going to use a different font, right? Font color to more so I'll tell you about OM here is produced to a certain point T. Let's say a certain point T is somewhere there. And it, let's hear what they are saying next. Such that OT is goes to K O M. Let's just jot down the information because it's going to help us in the next questions that are going to follow. So we have to be always uh, attentive. Where K is a constant. And the question goes like, express OT in terms of K, P, and Q. We are told that OT is goes to K, O, M. So what it means is that vector OT is going to be equal to K multiplied by OM, and OM is what? P plus half Q. So by expanding the bracket, what we're going to have is OT are equivalent to KP plus half KQ. This is vector OT, ladies and gentlemen. That is. Next question. Papans. If point T is on AC, if point T is on AC, and is such that AT is goes to HAC. And the point AT, and it's just what I'm Could the point T in AC? But AC in the, the Uyush. I'm going to use a different font again. Uh, sorry, my line is not that straight, but just assume it's a straight line. So we have a point T here. Point T, which is on the line AC. This is what they are talking about. And then, point T is on AC and is such that AT, such that AT is going to be equal to HAC. And then, Papanzi, form and simplify another expression for OT. So we need to find another expression for OT based on what the new information in the poor. Yeah, the AT is goes to HAC. Alright. OT. Kuvapana OT up. And it's untold something to do with AC. So which means the new expression for OT is going to be equal to OA plus AT. OA plus AT. Remember that both was something to do with AT. So which means we are on the correct uh, path. So OT, therefore, is going to be equal to vector OA in the P plus AT. Tells ones in the H multiplied by AC. And then what is the value of AC? Value of AC, tambo chaka karendian P plus 2Q. So that P plus 2Q. Because we expand the bracket, we can expand the bracket. OT is goes to P plus HP plus 2HQ. So this is the other expression for what? For OT. Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends. Here goes the next question now. Using the two expressions for OT, find the value of Right, using the two expressions for OT, find the value of H and the value of K. Right, could you check the value of H and the value of K? Right, so I think we're going to get up and up and the issues. We are in the OT, girl. What I'm going to check a car. We are in the OT, what I'm going to check my man. Since we all say that we are OT, you know what? Let's see what we are Saka so as no revan do so kut value ya OT yok tangai ya kai KP plus half KQ. Sorry, let me use a different font. Right? The value of OT ya gan the KP plus half KQ. Iri 
equivalent to the value of OT irababai. Yaganzi P plus HP plus 2HQ. Right. So I could just check a value ya H in a value ya K. What we are supposed to do on the right hand side is that we are going to factorize P burn up. So this P open brackets 1 plus H plus 2HQ. And Murus Wonesh. And the Ganatruku vector geometry, what we are going to do is we are going to equate my scalars, and it. So equating my scalars, what we are talking about is that Jesus should go multiply P to left. Jarenza and Jesus should go multiply P to right. Right. Scalar P to left, you multiply P in the end, K. Again, one plus H, the other terms are P to right. So we call this equation one, and then, and then we move on to the value of Q. Value of Q left, half of Q. Sorry, half of K is going to be equal to 2H. So we have now created a pair of simultaneous linear equations. So what we are going to do, we are going to solve this pair of simultaneous linear equations. And we need to look for the simplest method to solve those equations. And the simplest method, the Andruk Wanapanap, is the substitution method. Both in equation one, we are given k is goes half, one plus h. So meaning to say, per value k mu equation two no one is half plus h. So no one we have equation two no and that half of Pana K no and that one plus h is going to be equal to two h. That will solve a manch. So I know this a fraction, no more play both sides by two. Then two and two go for your honeymoon in Honolulu, Hawaii. And then we are going to get one plus h is equal to two h. Sorry, this is four h. But two h multiplied by two gives us four h. And then simplifying, one is equal to four h minus h. 1 is goes to 3H, divide both sides by 3. These ones cancel out. So H is going to be equal to 1 third. So H is going to be equal to 1 over 3. So we now want to find the value of K. So we're going to value our H turn now, K. We can choose any of these equations. And as far as my eyes can see, equation 1 is quite simple because what we are going to do is that k is going to be equal to 1 plus, we now have a value of h which is 1 third, 1 over 3. So k is going to be equal to 1 and a third. Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, thank you for taking your time to watch this video. I want you to like and subscribe to our channel and share the video to as much to as many people as possible. This is your host Chico Squared and the crew behind the scenes from Farmer Media Productions. Be blessed and stay blessed. Thank you so much. Salutes.